love drip coffee, you know how disappointing many automatic drip coffee makers turn out to be. All promise and no delivery. You get coffee that's weak, sour, acrid, or bitter, or not hot enough. Now the process of making automatic drip coffee is pretty simple. Water from the tank is heated by a metal heating element, which makes it boil up and travel through the machine to be distributed over the grounds in the brewing basket. From there, it drips through the coffee by gravity. We were astonished by how different coffee makers could take the same two ingredients, identical coffee and water, and make them either taste wonderful or terrible. So buying a quality machine matters. We started with a list of home coffee makers certified as good performers by the Specialty Coffee Association, or SCA. We rounded out our lineup with interesting models that were not on their list, and that gave us a total of 16 machines at a wide range of prices, from less than $20 to about $375. We measured the capacity of each machine's brewing basket and water tank. We wanted to confirm they could actually hold enough coffee and water to to brew a full pot at the proper ratio of water to coffee. In a blind randomized tasting, we had tasters rate the coffee brewed in each machine. We measured the brew water temperature and timed the brew cycles so we could see how much time these coffee makers spent in that ideal temperature range of 194 to 205 degrees Fahrenheit. We sent samples of the brewed coffee to an independent laboratory to measure quality metrics. After way too much coffee, here's what we learned and what you should look for. First and foremost, great flavor. Coffee makers may have a really similar look and seem like a fairly basic piece of equipment, but subtle differences can change whether or not they hit the benchmarks for heating, timing, and water to coffee contact in order to produce good coffee. You want simple, intuitive controls. Anyone should be able to operate the coffee maker with little effort. And don't laugh, a couple of these machines were ridiculously complex with a steep learning curve. We preferred pared down designs with intuitive switches, markings, and displays. You need a correct size brewing basket. Brewing baskets have to be big enough to hold plenty of ground coffee for the right coffee to water ratio. Not all the machines could hold the 55 grams of water you need to meet the industry standard for one liter of water. We had several 64 ounce or 1.8 liter water tanks paired with petite little brewing baskets, which sometimes overflowed when we actually made a full pot of coffee using the SCA ratio. Huge water tanks with promises of a giant carafe of coffee should be matched by roomy brew baskets. Your machine should brew at the right speed and temperature. Good automatic drip coffee comes from water heated to between 194 and 205 degrees Fahrenheit. It spends between four and eight minutes in contact with the grounds during the brewing cycle. If they're too slow or too hot, the coffee comes out over extracted and bitter. If the water's too cool or the cycle is too fast, the coffee is sour and under extracted. It's simple science that too many manufacturers just don't build into their machines. Our top models hit these industry standard benchmarks for extracting great flavor. And by the way, skip the scoop. Most of these coffee makers came with ridiculously little plastic scoops. And here's the problem with that. Ground coffees have radically different weights and volumes depending on how they're roasted and how finely or coarsely they're ground. If you want good coffee, buy a scale and weigh your grounds. And don't bother with settings like strong or bold. Sure, you want full flavor, but when machines offer this option, don't choose it. It just makes the brewing cycle last longer, which as we know, results in overextracted grounds and bitter coffee. Use the right filters. It actually does matter what filter you use. Some machines call for their own brand of filters that are designed to control the drip of the coffee in conjunction with the machine for the best extraction. Others, including our winners, can use any filters which we actually preferred to buying expensive proprietary filters. You can also use your filter choice to tweak coffee to your preference. Paper filters are going to hold back more fine grounds and oils than metal mesh baskets, so that they can really change the coffee's body and flavor. You wanna look for a thermal carafe. Keeping fresh coffee hot without scorching it is easiest when the machine brews into an insulated thermal carafe. Most coffee makers with glass carafes use the same heating element to boil the water and heat the hot plate. And that's a recipe for scorched bitter coffee. Bottom line, if you typically don't drink all your coffee right away, choose a thermal carafe. And finally, your coffee maker should be easy to clean and maintain. Removing filters with spent coffee grounds should be simple and neat. 
Some of these were a mess. We also liked carafes that were easy to scrub with well-designed lids that didn't trap water that dribbled out later. Yuck. Now beyond daily cleaning, you're gonna to need to descale. All the machines we tested included instructions for descaling, and we think it's important to do this periodically. Don't use vinegar and water. Vinegar can be corrosive and it might not remove all the scale. Instead, use dedicated descaling powder like Descal by Ernex. Now, several models we tested have cleaning indicator lights that come on when your machine needs the descaling. But if yours doesn't, a good rule of thumb is to do it roughly once every 100 pots, especially if you're brewing coffee every day. If your coffee maker seems to be struggling or brewing more slowly than usual, it's time to descale. After all our testing, we had some winners to recommend. Our overall favorite is the Technivore Mocha Master KVT. Its powerful copper boiler quickly heats and holds water at a precise temperature for coffee that tasters describe as very strong but smooth. Besides its single on-off control and clean design, we also really loved its five-year warranty and its easily replaceable exterior parts, which ensure a long, useful life. It costs just over $300, but it's going to hold up and serve you well. We also recommend the OXO Brew 8-cup coffee maker at about $175, intuitive controls, and the most ergonomically pleasing carafe we've seen in years of testing. Our best buy is the Zojirushi Zuto coffee maker. It's about $75. We're not fans of its glass carafe, but it brewed a small pot of very good coffee, and we loved its removable water tank and easy cleanup. With any of our top-rated machines, your morning coffee is gonna get a lot better. For more information and detail about our testing and all of these guys back here, go to americastestkitchen.com for the full review. 